Here's a budget buster for a lot of families. Can you imagine paying seven or even eight dollars for a gallon of milk? Well, those scary dairy prices could happen unless Congress passes a new farm bill by the end of this year. Jackie DeAngelis takes a closer look at the legislation and the impact on companies, farmers, and consumers. Chances are you've heard of the fiscal cliff, but have you heard of the dairy cliff? The dairy cliff refers to changes in farm policy that could send milk prices skyrocketing from an average of $3.46 a gallon now to $7 or $8 a gallon after the new year. So what's behind it and why does it matter? Well, it all started with a farm bill that was passed in 1949. The 1949 Farm Bill is permanent law. That's our permanent farm bill. And we've had extensions on the 1949 law um, every several years. And the most recent one being in 2008, we had a five-year extension that Congress put through. And now here we are again at that deadline uh, that will expire on January 1st and could drive uh, milk prices much, much higher and dairy prices much, much higher if it expires. The problem with the antiquated law is that it was implemented at a time when the dairy industry was smaller and less efficient, so it received bigger subsidies from the federal government. If the U.S. reverts to that policy, taxpayers will foot the bill of those subsidies to the tune of an extra $12 billion, according to experts. And while consumers could see a big sticker shock for milk at the grocery store, the impact would be much more than just milk. The impasse would also impact food producers that use dairy in their finished products. Think butter and margarine producers like Land O'Lakes, yogurt companies like Dannon, Chobani, Stonyfield, cream cheese and sour cream companies, then there are the packaged food makers, General Mills, Pinnacle Foods, ConAgra, Mondelez, who all use various forms of dairy as ingredients as well. Farmers are worried that high prices could make customers cut back on all dairy products. Initially, people would be probably would be buying it and farmers would benefit for a very short period of time and then demand destruction would set in and we would likely see prices come back down. And this isn't the first time that we faced the dairy cliff. It happened last year, but Congress was able to pass an extension. Analysts are hoping that we could get a 12 month or 24 month extension this time around as well to keep milk prices in check. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Jackie DeAngelis.